Recording in progress. And good evening, everyone. Welcome to our one Tai Chi lecture a week, a public lecture from the European Tai Chi Culture Communication Center. The European Tai Chi Culture Communication Center is the global network platform and provided the gateway for many of deeper application of the deeper traditional Chinese culture, philosophy, medicine, and sinology. We have worldwide top master in this field to give us public lectures and courses and we hope more and more people will enjoy our Tai Chi culture and understanding our beauty of Chinese culture and medicine and philosophy. My name is Xiang Yu, I'm from Germany. I'm very glad to be today to show our uh, 37 lectures from our two master Zhao Youbin and his son Zhao Liang. Mr. Master Zhao Youbin is a fifth generation of young style Tai Chi Chen. His 
grandmother is the granddaughter of Yang Lu Chan, the founder of Yang Style Tai Chi Chuan. Today, we are talking about Yang Style 17 Step Tai Chi Chuan. The main content is the aesthetic in praxis um, and the demonstration of form 30, step back to the form seven stars from 31, retreat to ride the tiger from 32, turn around the zip of Lotus leg from 33, bend a ball to shot the tiger. Um, the Chinese high, um, it means the letter is the 三十步退步七心 退步跨虎, 三十二是, 转身百年, OK, now I open the training lectures. <laughs> it's time for lesson 11 of 37 form of Yang family Tai Chi Chuan. I will mainly talk about the eye techniques and its applications in exercises. You have learned a lot about techniques of the hands, body, and legs steps. And you may practice it quite well, but if you do not know how to use your eyes, especially in competitions, the scores will be adversely affected. If you may get nine points with your qualified movement, but you improperly use the eyes, you could at most get eight points or even less, because the eyes plays a spiritual leading role. Xu Ling Ding Jin, hold the head straight with ease, is the first one of ten key points from Yang Cheng Fu, and the eyes are the first factor for realizing the state of Xu Ling Ding Jin, hold the head straight with ease. For example, two persons are bickering or fighting. If you would like to intimidate the opponent mentally, generally you just brighten your eyes and erect your head straight. But for completing the state of Xu Ling Ding Jin, hold the head straight with ease, we need at the same time putting up the top of the head, relax and erect the neck and slightly draw in the lower mandible. And all these movements are naturally realized via the expressions of the eyes. We say that the eyes are the seedlings of the heart, equivalent to windows of the heart, which reflect our inner activities. Changes of expressions of the eyes affect and guide interlocking changes of the body, inside and outside. And what are the requirements of Tai Chi Chuan for the eyes? Self-confidence, wisdom, deterrence, and freedom of all kinds of movements. Self-confidence, trust our own abilities, set up the conviction of success, and show our spiritual maturity. Wisdom, Tai Chi Chuan is a kind of intelligent boxing in which we use the theory of Tai Chi, such as Yin Yang Hu Ji, Yin and Yang assist each other in order to gain the initiative. For example, Dong Ji Zhe, Zhe Ji Ying, Dong Huan Zhe, 
则缓随 ，make a quick response to a quick movement and a slow one to the slow。粘连粘随 ，touching, sticking, adhering and following。四两拨千斤 ，defeating the strong with little effort, etc. Deterrence. We should not be angry with glaring eyes only. But calm and powerful, have an insight into the opponent's intentions. Freedom of all kinds of movements. We should be calm, as there is nothing in front of us. Not easily revealing our intentions. Nobody knows our intentions, but I know what's what. These. Are general requirements for the eyes when practicing Tai Chi Chuan. How to express the eyes? Firstly, in all our movements of the body, we have opening and closing, rising and lowering, drawing in and releasing. It is the same with the eyes. That there's natural tiny retraction. And release of the eye lids together with the movement of the body. And how to do it? We slightly retract the eye lids inward and keep the eyes on the opponent or in one direction. At the same time, try to broaden the field of vision, including up and down, left and right, front and back. With such tiny changes of the eyes, we focus on the opponent. But it does not mean that we keep the eyes only on the rival. We should at the same time pay attention to a much wider range in order to get more information around. For example, when we kick the leg, we separate the hands and then close them. Closing them is an empty movement in which a kind of spirit energy is accumulated and ready to be opened and released for later attack. At this time, we slightly draw in the eyelids so as to accumulate energy to be released later. But there is a precondition. That you should be very familiar with all these movements, and you are at the stage of improving your skills in practice, and so you would be able to naturally move the eyelids according to the changes of all other parts of the body. In ancient time, there was a skillful archer named Ji Chang, who may shoot. With great precision, it is said that he could puncture a leaf at a hundred paces away. But how could he get such good vision? In order to improve his eyesight, he sat by the weaving machine, practicing his eyes eyesight, following the movement of the weaving shuttles. It is very similar to playing frisbee, that our sight should follow the target. That is a kind of exercises in dynamic state. And how do we practice our eyesight and stability in static state? We should firstly focus on one small point. For example, we hang a flea in front of us. And look at it calmly, slowly, and gradually the flea grows bigger and bigger in our sight until it looks like a coin. This is just a story, telling us the importance of the eyes. Though we do not have special exercises for improving eyesight, when we practice Tai Chi Chuan. Or Zhan Zhuang standing exercise, the eyes must be attentive. The eyes 
follow our intentions and postures and the closing and opening. Slight movement of the eyelids go with the flow of the movement and are natural. When you are familiar with the movements, you had better use neutral and calm expressions of the eyes. The eyes should not be darkened nor go for show. The target of practicing martial arts is in general to reflect the technical contents, styles, and charm of a certain kind. But some of the performances are exaggerated with aim for eye-catching, but we had better keep natural expression. The second point, during the practicing process, we should keep looking horizontally and far away. The head should follow the movement of the eyes. It is not right that you look up and down. For example, in the form needle at the bottom of the sea, when the palm moves down, do not fix your eyes on the hand, but look far forward along the direction of the palm. In the form fans through the back, we should look forward horizontally instead of looking up or sideways. In the form single whip, it is very important to look steadily forward. In the form fans through the back, the eyes look forward along the direction of the left hand, but if you had is here and you look this way, the both are not in the same direction, then the effect is ugly. In the form single wave, when returning over, the eyes move horizontally along with the left hand. Meanwhile, have a look around with the corner of the eyes and then move to the right. If the hand and the eyes are in different directions, the attention would not be focused. The head should follow the eyes. If you look here, but the head does not move, you would look sideways. Basically, the movement of the head following the eyes is smooth. Generally, in spirit, the head follows the direction of the eyes, but not absolutely. If too absolute, it would be not so smooth. That is, wu guo bu ji, no excess, no deficiency. The eyes should follow the primary hand, but we should also pay attention to another hand while well, the eyes follow the main one. For example, the left hand in the form high pad on the horse is the main one. When returning back, we should take care of the second hand, right one. But it does not mean that you look back at it, forgetting the main one. Your attention is still to the front direction of the left hand. When practicing Tai Chi sword, there is a form called Kui Xing. The sword should be horizontally forward and we should keep the eyes on the front and the tip of the sword. Here, we emphasize the movement of the eyes following the main hand, but meanwhile, do not forget the other hand at the back in your mind. Another example, after the pushing posture in the form single wave, the left hand is the main one. After turning, when drawing it back, the eyes should care for two hands. Now we may slightly draw the lower mandible in, but not lower the head and not stare so hard. The eyes should follow the turning body and look forward along the right hand. At the same time, care for the left hand. The left warding off in the form grasping the bird's tail has the left hand as the main one. The fourth point is at the left arm. So when we start practicing this form, 
we should keep the eyes on the left hand, and meanwhile we watch. We see the right hand from the corner of our eyes. This meets the requirements of a young family Tai Chi Chuan. That is, that the sight from the corner of the eyes should observe the other hand. For a kicking and separating the leg, the right hand is dominant and moves together with the leg. Now, if you look here, then you would forget the movement of the left hand, which drops down. Of course, you should not look this side and then the other side. You should turn over and relax the shoulders and sink the elbow. Keep your eyes on the main hand and your side from the corners of the eyes on the left hand. It doesn't matter if you could not see the left hand, but you should have such consciousness and expression. The eyes should take care of both the primary hand and the second one, but be sure to avoid taking a look at the left and then at the right. The eyes should take care of the movement of the both arms and also feel circumstances around the body. Basic requirements for eye techniques are as follows. The eyes should follow the hands. The eyes lead the hands. Glance right and left. The figure and the spirit are combined. In the form cloud hands, it is not wrong that the eyes follow the right hand, but it is wrong if you lower your head or only stare at the hand or even behind the hand. Then what should we do? This is a winding movement so you should move your eyes ahead of the wrist and the palm. The hand leads the eyes and follows the eyes simultaneously. But the eyes cannot lead the hand unless they are in front of it. In the form single whip, when we move here and the hand stretches out, if you still look backward, then the movement of the hand does not make any sense. The eyes should follow the hand and get ahead of it. The eyes are seedlings of the heart, which observe the moving state. As soon as the eyes find out that it is time for the hand to move, the hand at once follows the eyes. This is a natural moving state. Xu Ling Ding Jin hold the head straight with ease is the master, is the leader. And the expressions of five sense organs, including facial muscles, naturally go with the former. Then what should we pay attention to? We already know the relations between the eyes and the hands, and how about the eyes and the movement of the body. The eyes lead the movement and the movement follows the eyes. The first step is to direct your body with your mind for further movement. And the eyes lead in an intended direction. Then the body, the steps and hands closely follow the eyes. This is a holistic relationship between the inner and external movement. The head Shoulders, steps, the whole body move together with the eyes. For example, left warding off in the form grasping the burst tail. After lowering the left hand, the right hand becomes the main one. The eyes should focus on the right hand, but do not firmly stare at it, because meanwhile you should care for the left hand too. The eyes should always lead the right hand. After warding off, splitting, pulling back, and turning back, you should close the arms and step up. But before you stepping out, you should look forward and see the complete process 
of closing the arms. When all this is over, you should focus on the left hand and right hand. Next, the right hand is the main one, and you pull down with the left hand. Meanwhile, having glance at the left hand, relax the shoulders and the elbows, and sink the force. As soon as you see the right hand with your sight from the corner of the eyes, the right hand is ready to move. At this time, the eyes should look forward ahead of the right hand. Then the right hand will follow. After the postures of Lie splitting and Cai pulling down, is Lü rolling back. The eyes should also go ahead, and the hand should follow the eyes in the same direction. When rolling, the eyes should care for the elbows. When rolling back, rolling implies pressing, which implies the meeting of advancing. The eyes should follow the movement of pressing instead of looking at the hand like this. The eyes should care for all directions around, but always ahead of the hand, and then the hand should follow. The eyes are always ahead of the hand, and this is so called the eyes are seedlings of the heart. The dynamic eyes should show. The fighting spirit and all parts of the body should follow the eyes. 一动俱动，一道俱道。One part moves, all parts move. One part finishes, all parts finish. In one word, hands, eyes, body, and steps, advancing, retreating, and shifting should coordinate with each other. For getting such natural, tentative, firm, and confidential expressions of the eyes, you need time and more practice. Of course, firstly you should be familiar with all movements, and then take into consideration how to improve the moving quality, and then you will be able to focus on the expressions of the eyes. So, I hope. You may slowly understand and realize it in your practice. That's all for today. Thank you. See you next time. Dog,右腿渐屈,左腿后撤,两手胸前相合,握拳,起右脚,再落步,成右虚步,两拳微向前撑,全心朝下,脸向前倾。第一动，两手变挡，起右腿，侧步，右斜方，然后重心后移，两手随之下落，右转起，起左脚，两手同时左右分开，圆转，左虚步，两背要圆，眼向前平视。再来一遍，虽不夸虎。两手变掌，右掌心朝上，左掌心朝下，重心渐渐移向右腿，两手渐渐分开，起左腿，要胯间要合，两背
要松原，眼的余光能看到两手。第一动，两背顺时针圆转，腰微右随，右手稍抽回，向中间前方推出，两手上下移，要平。第二动，右手起，左手落，重心不变，两脚掌捻动，右手平展，左手相随。向右后方旋转，抬左腿，倒腿，转一圈，然后重心左移，腰左转，拎起右腿，摆出，成百连式。再做一遍。两背松活的圆转，腰胯间要有旋转之意。转体，重心不变，手脚相随，身体要稳定，不要起伏。然后随之而摆腿，两掌心朝下，重心左移，两手迎击脚面，摆右腿。稳住，屈膝下沉，右掌心朝上，左掌心朝下。Hello everyone, today we will explain lesson 11. In the last lesson, we talked about golden rooster stands on one nerve, left hand wide. The next move is to step back to form seven stars. Then is to step back to right tiger, followed by turning around and sweeping the looters. Also has another sweeping, the looter nerve. These motions are relatively complex, as we can see, especially swinging looters' feet is a new neck technique in Tai Chi. Look. First motion the bike to form servant star. Both hands clenched and crossed over your chest. Empty right foot, solid left one. Make the gravity point three before, point seven behind, and what is seven stars? In Tai Chi, the seven stars do not refer to the big deeper in the sky, but rather to the seven joints of the shoulder, elbow, Waist, hip, knee, foot, and heart. These are the seven stars. Now, how can we do this action? Follow the golden rooster stand on one nerve. Since is a step by, squat down with your left foot, fall back, and swing your foot at 45 degrees outward. Second, sit back. Third, lift the nerves. Clench the fist in both hands. Lift the knee, 
cross the hands in front of the chest and then lower the foot gently. Move the gravity forward slightly after falling. The arms rotate inward, go ahead slightly, and then raise the supports back. Here is this side. Look again at the other side. One. Squat down four foot. Notice here, swing left foot at 45 degrees outward. Two, sit back. Three, up your knee. Clench your hands together. Four, drop your foot and five, adjust the gravity slightly. Turn your fist inward and send them forward a little. Rotate two feet inward, send forward a little. And meanwhile, Support or raise the back. Now I uh, I will do it again. One, two, three, four. As is a step back motion, I will do it again with my back for more clear of the left foot. Squat down, swing out and four. Sit back, lift the knee, fall down. And fine, adjust. This is the step bike to form seven star stirrup. The next action is called step by ride the tiger. We can see that this action has a relatively large stirrup and requires the body to sit down as if right on the tiger with both hands externally. This is a very imposing action. Just like stepping back to form serving stars, this is also a step bike motion. Lift the knee and step by, then sit back, lift the nerve again, and make the slight adjustment. As we can see, there's two step bike actors had the same way of food. One, knee, lift. Two, step by. Three, neck lifts. Four, foot drops. And then move the gravity forward slightly to adjust gravity. Make the overall strength round and support. One, two, three, four, very clear. Nurse, take a look again. How can we do the hand movements? Firstly, lift the knee and two hands change into palms. The left palm facing down, the right palm facing up. Step back, land your toes first during the dropping. Sit back, turn your body to the right. Spread your left hand to the right palm seats. While doing, the two hands move together to the right. Right palm seats. The left hand is under the right elbow. Both on the right side of body. While foot learns, move your left hand forward with your left nerve. And brush your left hand forward to your left side. Don't push your right hand forward actively, but bring your right hand toward the front right with turning around. Land here, lower your feet lightly, press your gravity slightly forward. Suppose to raise the back, Gently spread your hands to both sides. This posture is done. Front view again. One. Two feet change into palms. Two. Step back and drop foot. Three. Sit back and spread your right hand. Left hand forward. Four. Turn your wrist and brush your knee, left palm seats, and drop the right foot. Rotate your right hand with your wrist turning to the front. The tiger's mouth is at the same level to the ear. Looking at her doing like this. From the step up to form serving stars, fists change into palms. Back to the stirrup. 
lift their nerve and know that the This is the step bike to white tiger. Just now for the step bike and white tiger, the movement should be sturdy. And when learning, bike for the foot, lift a certain width between the two feet. Stand here horizontally. This action is easy to bring both feet together when turning the wrist and learning is not good. Stand here horizontally. This action is easy to bring both feet together when turning the wrist and learning. N notice when lifting the knee and turning outward, relax the wrist and the crouch, and actively turn the foot forward with the turning wrist. This way, you can sit here with the knee open and the crouch around when support the both hands. The shoulders open, elbows dropped, and the wrist should be thin. The entire body should be opened enough, which is the step bike and ride the tiger. Get the vigor as much as possible. Next move is to turn around and swing the ludus, which is relatively complex. As you may remember the single sweep ludus. After coming over, up the knee, lift your neck up, pat the foot face with one hand. This is the double sweep nutus. But its overall movement is not just a neck swing technique. Attention here, turning your body. Rotating your feet, turning your body to the right rear, and then turning your left nerve with your waist turning. Here is also a neck sweep. The foot down here, and then up the neck at this point. There is also one tapping foot and one swing foot, which is two neck techniques. Now we can start it one by one. Divide this action into three parts. One, step back and spread your hands. Keeping your gravity point three at front, point seven at behind unchanged. Turn your body slightly to the right. Bend your right elbow back and extend your left hand forward and upward. Then turn the body back to the nerve. Raise the left hand upward with a knock. Retract it. And push your right hand out from the chest to this position. It's a bit like the lady works at shadow. Nerve hand holds. This is about an elbow distance between the hands. Take a side look. One, two, three. Take a closer look in this direction. One, two, three. Push the palm out. This is the first part. The next, turn body. For doing this motion, you can perform this action before the camera. Sit here and slide left your two heels off the ground. The waist turning. Bring both soles to retort and drive on the ground. Be careful not to freeze the heels on the ground. Keep turning and driving until the left foot can be lifted with the toes touch the ground. Right foot on the ground, then bring your left nerve over by turning your wrist, like whipping out, wiping out, doing like this. The key to this action is to lift both heels up so as to drive it Drive the waist to bring it, like this. 
Look. Turn. Shift your way to right. Wash. To what position? When practicing, it's important to have a diagonal cross, divided at forty-five degrees equally. Dry, turn, sweep, and jump your feet here. Stand on at forty-five degree diagonal line, and pay attention to the place of your foot. Pay attention to the landing point. Hands, right hands backward, means to block behind you. Turn it around and hold up behind you. Want to stop? You have to sit palm, not to block out. Using the spread arc, so right hand facing inward. Go out from above the left elbow throughout in the arc. Pull back your left hand to balance the string. So fold like this. Hand jabs. Bend your left elbow backward. It turns your right hand in arc from up. Your left elbow. Keep your hand shade. Rush. Eyes focus on at forty-five degrees to the right. Now I'll demonstrate it again in another direction. Shift the gravity to the left of the knee. Kick the right knee diagonally to the left, and then swing it back to form such a leg swing. You don't have to kick your legs that high. Can be a little lower. Do a circle first. Relax your hips like this. Swipe your hand backward with nerf. As turning, arm swiping, flip your right palm upward, and use your foot to touch your hands in the air. It requires a certain speed. This way, your hand and foot meet in the air can cause a sound pop pop very imposing. Fold down, left, sit on your crouch. Roll up your waist, swing it up, pull it apart, squat down, sit firmly. Left palm sits, right palm facing up. This is the final posture of the swing. I will connect this action for you again. Let me demonstrate it sideways. There is are the three motions of the golden rooster stands on one nerve, big open and curls. Those action are relative nerves, open and also has the little difficulties. I'll do these motions together again for everyone. Golden rooster stands on one nerve. Step out to form seven stars. Step back and right tiger. Turn around and swing the lutes. Once again.
They say practice of these ac actions. This act are relative difficult, especially the back turn swing, drive the sweep nerve, and finally swing nerve, which are three difficult points. If you can do it well, you can practice slowly. Now, for example, when swinging your foot, you can first lift the nerve as long as you can move. You can start by tapping your thigh, then your lower leg, and finally reach your foot. Gradually, if you find it difficult to master, if it's just for exercise and health, just gesture is okay. Depending on the individual's physical condition and needs. Now, so much for today. Thank you for watching. Okay, thank you very much for the meeting, Zhang 老师。非常感谢大家的观看。Thank you very much. Um, let's ask Zhang 老师。嗯，到家了。嗯。到家了，到家了，到家了啊,啊！好，啊、嗯、啊，非常感谢那个，今天讲的非常精彩。啊，那个问题啊，呃，整体效整体效果怎么样？啊，非常好，讲的非常详细啊，特别详细。嗯、啊啊，这边有一个呃、啊，太极元老师呃、啊、问您一个呃、啊，跟嗯、啊、赵老师请教一个问题：退步七星的时候，两腿重心怎么分配？呃，推步七星的定式，是呃二八，嗯，就是重心八成在后边，两成在前面，不超过呃两成。啊，嗯，就是重心啊，是百分之八十在在后腿，嗯。那个太极元老师，您还有呃，可能能解答您的问题吗？<笑>对这个，您这次讲的这个这个眼眼法的运用啊，就手跟眼的这个协调，好像就是一个是就开车似的，一个是方向盘，然后一个是 GPS 导导航、嗯，对，是吧？对，嗯、啊啊<笑>呃，对，那你你这个比喻也可以，这个。这个眼睛啊是主神的，嗯，就是你动作再好，身条再好，但是你眼神不到就没有神气。这个眼神呢，它是一种战斗状态，嗯，观察状态，嗯，啊，是对对方的一种动作的一个一个反应，嗯，所以眼要先到，但是呢，这眼到手到，不能说首先到了。所以眼睛还没有到，那那就是心中没有没有一种意识，就意念不足，就对方的契机和对方的观察对方的状态是不够的。嗯啊，所以说是，它基本规律就是，眼为心之苗，啊，眼要有神，要关注对方，啊，手脚跟上，这个眼随手走，嗯。以眼领手，呃，掌握这几个这几百个原则。嗯，同时呢，还要关顾左右，就眼神看到主要手的方向，同时后手或者左右顾盼左右，神也要到，啊，就是它是一个状态，一个全一个专注的状态，全局的状态，呃，神态的一个战斗的一个精神的一个状态。所以它是主神的，主神器的嗯，嗯。我们的头的方向也是跟眼那个方向是一致，要要基本保持是一致的，嗯、就是目不斜视，嗯，目不斜视啊，就是，呃，是那个头，就是说，就是说戴这个露脐腰部手伸出伸出去了，把单边手伸出去了，你眼睛看着手的方向，啊，但是呢，头也要往那个方向转，啊，不能是。头在这边，眼睛是斜的，这个就不行，啊，嗯，这个是要这个到了这个
太极的高阶境界呢？如果初学的话，还是要跟着那个一步一步的那样子走。哎，初学的话，这是个过程，这是个过程。这个学这个升级有节呀、啊，它是一层一一一层一层一步一步提升的。就是说，当你动作还不熟练的时候，你眼神肯定是不够的。因为你不知道他是干什么用的，等你动作熟了，继续熟了，你的眼神啊，也就自然就带出来了。但是要掌握一本规律、规律性的东西啊、嗯。嗯、对，我们这次的这个三十步以后，就是那种旋转的那个腿的那个运动，就我觉得就蛮多的、啊。嗯，呃，这这个推子推步跨虎，转身摆连，呃，也是一个重点性的动作。嗯。他他有点像那种扫堂腿的那个味道，呃，纵身要平衡稳定，啊，这个旋转要这个呃，虽然它是分两步转的，呃，但是它的近视要连在一起，嗯，啊，这要一气呵成，啊，注意它的平稳性，不要或高或低，关键在于松脚腕，脚腕要松，啊，这个呃，跨跨骨跨跟要松，对。松的过程中带有松弹劲，富有弹性的，它既不能顶起来，也不能软下去。对，就是练那个蚕丝劲，我好像有那种功夫叫蚕丝劲，就是那个连绵的那。这个蚕丝劲啊，呃，和这个运劲如抽丝呀、啊，它是都是一种运劲的状态。蚕丝劲是要建立在运劲如抽丝的基础上而变化的。你比如说这个手法进入的变化，这个捧出去的手啊，这个在手背，但是在你呃呃翻转的时候呢，必须小手指、手腕这一侧的劲要连绵的变化过去，变化过去。这个运动过程是不急不速的，是带有抽丝性的变化，同时它有一个缠绕劲，或者说它是缠丝劲。说记录呀，这个是中间不能断，不管它是一种旋转的，还是呃曲线的，还是呃怎么样的一个运动状态，记录是不能断，在手上始终从一个在在运进入抽丝啊，就是不紧不慢的这种状态下进行这个，比如说缠丝劲呀、缠绕劲的一种记录的变化，它是这样的一个。运用的状态，这就是这个这个气，这个气不能断，就是不能够有，就是连续的，就是绵绵不断，绵绵不绵的那。啊、呃，它这个气息啊，它是有强有弱，当然你进法上也是有强有弱，有快有慢。这里说的主要是进法，嗯、进法就是手上在整个从预备式起势开始到收势，这整个这个过程中，啊。这个手两个手上的劲呢，始终是存在的，始终是在变化的，始终是在转移的。嗯啊，单边，单边这个手指大拇指是右左手出去的，劲点在大拇指这个地方，然后中间不能跳，不能摆，必须通过大拇指这个地方呢，到掌背，到掌缘、掌根，一直到小手指，它是旋转的过去的。嗯。这个中间的进入是没有变的，呃，没有没没有断的，啊，它像呃抽丝一样的，就是那个劲均匀的、连绵的，而且富有缠绕性的这样子的一个，所以叫缠丝劲啊，就是缠丝。如果你缠绕的时候，它首先要有个劲力的存在，啊，同时它有不急不速的，富有这个呃粘劲的，把它呃这个进入进行变换，它是这样子的。啊，这个就是，所以手上，手上是不能空，永远是不能空。嗯，进入是在变变换的。嗯，啊，只不过只有轻重之分，快慢之分，嗯、刚柔啊，有这么一变化。啊、那感觉这叫掌中窍，掌中窍啊。你比如说，我们在几几前几节课的时候讲过这个，呃，彭驴急案。变单边的过程中，这按两掌推出去以后，啊，两掌呢要一个要一个放平呀、啊，然后从右向左摆，画个圈。那么在这个过程中
长根上的茎，要输送到手指上放平它，输送到手指上放平，这个茎就不能断，它就不能往那一塌拉下来去，就没有感觉的变化，这是这就断茎了。那与此同时呢，它放平之后呢，还有一个合茎，就掌心要合，虽然它是平的。微合微扣，呃，但是它的气是合在一起的，它控制对方的肘部和腕部，腕部和肘部是和这个合在一起的。然后它还有个提劲，呃，平和提拔起来，带有搓动的一个，吹准破坏对方的这个，呃，这个这这个重心点，啊，所以这个手在这一世完到下一世。或者这一世和到下世的变换的过程中，这个近视，这个近点都是在变化的，啊，气势是相连的，这个是在练拳中非常重要的一点，连绵不断，啊，滔滔不绝，就是在这个方向、这个方面来体现的，啊。那么我们说，这个气的根部还是在于丹田。还是在丹田在用劲，是不是？这个，对啊，腹部就是丹田啊，就是也就是腹部，就是腰胯，对，就是主宰于腰，就突出这一点。嗯，这个这个齐根在脚，行于手指，啊，重点在于腰胯的进行的协调，上下的串联，这是三个要点啊。我以前讲过这个三连六合，嗯。三连就是手的近点要和脚相连，嗯，这个腰的近点要和手脚相连，这是三连。六合是两边的手，左边有有三个点，这两个边是分形成了六点的六维空间叙事的一种变化，快慢、高低、长短、刚柔的一种变化。但是不管怎么变化，这六个点的变化在空中进行呃很协调的一种运动。那么其他地方呢，要放松，要就要就要让气血贯通，为他们服务。要每个关节都要开绿灯，筋这个肌肉啊，这都要放松，甚至汗毛孔都要放松。嗯啊，这样气息就通了。这个气息的畅通，不要单单的去想着呼吸，呼吸是随着开合而变而变的。啊，它主要是要势要顺，势顺了。你你气就顺，气顺了劲就顺，嗯，就这么一个关系、嗯、啊，嗯，相互连带的，关键就是要放松，这是最主要的。对啊，现在工作紧张，嗯、很多人都不会不会放松。<笑>呃，放松呢，它是有要点的。你比如说，我们站桩，或者你打电脑打的时间长了。嗯啊，我们站个无极桩或者站什么桩，嗯，啊，这个脑子里要想一个问题，就是说，往这站以后呢，心一静，心一静呢，想一个内容，就是，呃，这个玄百会，这是我以前讲过的，就是虚力顶劲，嗯，然后你再放松腹部丹田，哎，下盘就感到一种松弛的感觉，嗯，就落在了涌泉，啊。玄百会，松会阴，落涌泉。你在站的时候，休息的时候，你可以这样去想，你的内部调节就基本上就一瞬间就可以达到放松的状态。嗯啊，真是太，您讲的这个真是太那个精华，这是站桩的这个啊啊啊，这是很重要的一个嗯，基基本点，基本点对对对，哎、这个当然这个。你说说这种做到放松，在动态中做到放放松，那确实不容易，这确实需要一个过程。对，这个过程必须要有敲，就一方面学生在练的时候，一方面一方面这个要用手敲一敲，你这硬了，放松放松。特别要通过最基本功的揉肘的练习，啊，揉肘，两个手像揉，一个手揉，要变化，一伸一缩，一画圈。在从中去感觉粘连、粘随、不丢、不顶、松柔的这种关关节，它有一种规律
，这个规律必须要把握住。你收回来的时候，必须先松肩，活走，捏住手。你出去的时候，一定要手是一种老于磨下的感觉，用手去领领臂、手臂。那么中关节主动展开，主动展开；肩关节放松，拔开。你向前、向后，上下、上下，从上到下，从下向上，它。就是在这个基本规律中去找感运动感觉，啊，是这样子，嗯，所以说这个言传口授嘛，到到一定的时候必须是，呃，要要要点化的，点化。对，哎、这个叫未尽，慢慢来吧是吧？要未尽，再未一未尽，哎，要未尽。<笑>啊，太好了！嗯，你讲的，你讲的几句话就是真是精华的，很多很多学了多少年的那个，真是能悟到这几句话，就是真是是高手了。是的，是的。对，还有那个这边有一个老师还问的问题：战斗状态是要怒目瞪眼吗？就是您的那个眼眼法。这个就是嗯，战斗状态，它一定是去。精神高度集中的，他的表情是不一样的。有一种状态他是惊恐的，有一种状状态他是必胜的，啊，一种是自信的。这个这个状态状和这个精神状态是不一样的。但我们要现在要建立在于啥呢？是一种自信的，啊，也就是这个冷眼相对对方，就是不是说是我一定。发狠的一定要战胜你或者畏畏惧你，没有这样子，所以他眼神是平和的，啊，是不威而怒的，不威，他不是故意要瞪你，但是看起来你很很有威严，哈哈，他是这种眼神。但那眼睛也是要放松的状态，对吧？因为全身都放松，眼睛也是要放松的，是吧？对，他的这个眼睛是有呼吸的。因为这个眼，这个这个眼眼睑呀，这个眼睑要往回收，这个这个往回收，它吸进去了，啊，这个时候就是一种呃一种化解，啊，一种就是这个呃战斗的一种一种收啊收回来，放出去一哈气，眼帘放松，气息畅通，眼睛就放松了，它也是随着。收和放，眼睛自觉和不自觉的也有一种呼，呃，收和放，这个呼就是开合的一种，自然而然的有。这个通过站桩，站桩的时候我们练眼神，啊，就就不出力的时候，自然的，啊，眼帘是放松的，它是休息状态的。但是当你把内力往外撑的时候，啊，内劲往外开。身体膨胀起来，这个眼睛它是发发光的，它是睁开的，它是有威的，眼睛是往回往里收的，它是这也是一种练法。你过去鸡汤学剑，学剑的时候就练的是眼睛呀。他躺在他老婆的织布织布机的底下，他老婆抛缩，打走线嘛，他眼睛跟着走。跟着走就练着那眼睛的灵活，呃，窗户上挂一个跳蚤，盯着他看不动，看时间久了，这个跳蚤就直摇头，他就看清楚了，这都是练出来的，啊，这是看哪一种状态去训练，啊，当然说这话只是个比喻，啊，就说练太极拳绝对不能够他拉着眼睛没有神奇，那是不对的。就是练站桩的时候，他也有，就是站着，他也有那种张张伸伸缩的这种这种的。他两种状态，一种是放松的，松的一种是张开的、哦、啊，两个两种状态是不行、呃、变化的。我不知道给大家讲过没有这个课啊、哦呃，可能我好像没讲过。以后有以后有机会了，给咱们专门讲讲这个站桩如何站桩。太好了，太好了，<笑>对。这还有一个是单边抠脚转体，怎么样能做到内开外裹的静力？嗯，第一，当你弓步的时候，弓步按的时候，弓步的时候要变换下一次的时候
，首先一个把右胯根放松，松沉一下，使它这个劲啊落在脚跟上，使坐骨和脚跟形成一条轴线，这是第一条。第二条呢，内开外过，把大拇指翘起来，右脚的大拇指翘起来，小拇指压下去，让它带个斜面，用大拇指领进来，哎，这。脚跟的外侧，让它为轴点去旋转。开始时候可以像这样找一找，啊，内开外裹，臀是裹的，内是开的，它就是这么个情况。可以试一试，然后就当然熟练以后就变成自然状态了。啊，你解释的太棒了，这个这个脚底方脚趾的这个还有手指的这个旋转啊什么的，很多的就是外行的人就练着那个太极。就是太极操根本就没有这个里边的这个动静的这个转换<笑>，那您把这个、嗯、那是还没有认识的那一步，对啊，这个也不能怪，因为个人的条件有限，呃，接触的环境有限，啊，目目的也不一样，这个不能怪，能听到，只是对咱们对爱好人呢，喜欢学的话，讲讲这方面的知识，对啊啊，能听到您这些。口传的这些东西，真是都是都是有都是有机缘，都是缘分。<笑>对，嗯，太棒了，嗯，大家还有什么问题没有？然后，嗯，这边太极岩说，嗯，赵老师辛苦了，是呀、啊，这现在中国时间应该是。呃，九点多钟了，赵老师辛苦了。九、呃、点十分了，对,对,对,对，九点十分了。嗯，我我差点忘了今天这个时间啊，没问题。刚才正在吃饭，对对对，突然想起，对对，慢慢提醒我了一下，我说赶紧离开回来。<笑>对，太棒了，嗯、哦，非常感谢，<笑>嗯，对您辛苦了。上、啊、完课以后，以后有机会了，希望你们组团到西安来，对，呃，来来来来来。来来来交流交流，对呀对呀，太好了！<笑>西安是那个中国的这个<笑>这个最兵马俑，对，吃三朝嘛，对对对，啊，非常古老。到中国来是一定要到西安，对，没问题，<笑><笑>太谢谢赵老师了。对，那个我下次呢，今年他们有几个国家要来的？今年俄罗斯呀、啊啊，呃，还有还有还有哪几个英语？呃，澳大利亚他们都是吧？这个通常不是。对，对，现在、啊、现在来往就开始那个，啊、都都可以，这个疫情结束之后，大家都可以可以那个自由的，不用那个什么隔离呀什么的，就现在就就方便多了，嗯，是呀、啊，<笑>对。嗯、好，谢谢主持人。哎，不客气。谢谢那全友们，对，还有各位后台的老师。对，谢谢，还谢谢您做的这个精美的这个视频，嗯、然后翻译成英文，让我们，呃，这些外国友人、全友们也能够能够了解，<笑>非常感谢。呃，关键我我不太会英语，所、啊、以主要请学生给帮忙翻译、啊，对，他们更行。对，非常翻译的特别好、啊啊，对，嗯，对。那么下星期是。嗯、呃，因为这星期我那个这这几星期我那个有事情，然后下星期咱们还有最后一次，嗯、呃，七月二啊、哦，好的好的，啊、对，可以可以可以可以，定的是七月二号，然后呃，大家可以提前准备一些问题，到时候提问。对对对、啊，然后咱们三十七是太极拳、啊，这次下星期周末最后一次就讲完了，啊、<笑>时间过得太快了，啊、已经十一讲了，啊、嗯。对，这是一讲。嗯，好，好的，那赵老师早点休息吧。嗯，行，好，谢谢。嗯，谢谢，谢谢。那我们，啊、那我就、啊、谢谢赵老师。嗯，那我们明天、啊、那我就离开了啊。对，好，下次见。对，好，再见。嗯。哎，对。Recording stop。会会中文。嗯。好 ，Thank you, <laughs> Thank you very much. I hope the Pierre, you can understand us, <laughs> the Chinese. Okay.